the role of gel plastic collections, conservation, and utilization. Yes, sir. In fact, the U.S. Bangalore, along with the, the project coordinating unit ICR at Bangalore, we are almost having about 10,000 plus the collections to us. And U.S. Bangalore, with the support of Arcade Way, we have established one gene bank, not only for the collections of our own, this ragi, the millets, genotypes, the collections of all the pulses, soil seeds, even to some extent vegetables, we would like to conserve and make use of the further, you know, utilization in the same. This is for the information. Again, you mentioned about the tricks or the concern, especially on the blast. This is the one issue. In fact, during the deliberations, a lot of the lead papers have been presented and a lot of the advanced tools uh, that was, you know, uh, has been, you know, utilizing to address this issue. Especially, you mentioned about the short duration varieties, or the, sorry, not the varieties which are suitable for the mechanical harvesting. Yes, even this point also raised by Sri Vairagodaji, because, you see, when we want to cut down the cost of the productions, so that we have to go for the mechanization, the mechanization means it is simply suitable for the, the, our, the stakeholder, major stakeholder is the small and the marginal farmers. So this is the one issue which we are already addressing and we are going to scale up this issue. Again, you mentioned about the speed breed breeding, yes, and also the utilization of the big data and other activity, artificial intelligence, yes sir, and also the this deliberations you mentioned to share with the different stakeholders. Yes, we are going to share with and we will like to have the you know, follow up action so that something should emerge. <laughs> so while our uh, friend Dr. Vilas, the director of Indian Institute of Military said, while he was clarifying some of the issues to Honorable Sri Vairagunaji, and he also mentioned, and we started a lot of programs, series of programs, uh, till the 23, that program should reach most of our, you know, stakeholders. This is one thing he has mentioned. And he also mentioned, they have prepared a blueprint where it is, you know, uh, including all the 18 ministries. That means every ministry has to have some of the other programs to promote our millets uh, in the country in all this. Again, he mentioned about the range of recipes. Yes, when we talk about the recipes, it's not just our uh, recipes which are, we are making for the NGOs. These are all the recipes which, in fact, this was the initiative made by Honorable Sri Krishna Bhairagunaji. All the top five star portals record that uh, how best the millets can be uh, one of the you know, included in the different recipes. This was one of the good program and now most of the places, most of the five star portals we used to get the pieces made out of the millets. Uh, Dr. Varmaji, thank you so much for your support. You are not only supporting this program, you are supporting, I mean to say, the NABAR. NABAR is uh, supporting all, almost all of the activities, not only the research, even the infrastructure development, in terms of the colleges, girls' hostels, boys' hostels, and all those things which you are supporting us, really, and also incubation center. This is the most important thing which I would like to mention here. The NABAR is uh, supporting us to establish the incubation center, not only at the Central place that is at the Bangalore, even at the rural innovation center, almost the examinations that uh, this the committee has given the recommendations. I hope it will be true. Uh, and also, he mentioned whatever the way of uh, kind of uh, support we ask in collaboration with the different organizations. I think we are the already we are doing it, and we are going to scale up your collaborations and ensure that whatever the goal. We have going to set it will be achieved, especially with respect to the promotion of this village. Once again, thank you, uh, Mr. Varmaji, for all the support and also joining us at this uh, you know, closing function. Mr. Uh, one, uh, Mr. Somanath, I can see me. Yes, he has joined. I am the government department. The government of India has given a lot of uh, you know, programs to promote not only millets, so many crops, so that way 
we are going to get the benefit of uh, the schemes uh, which is uh, you know given by the government of India. Thank you for your support for all our activities. The so friends, finally, I would like to say, say a few words. See, since uh, four days, a lot of deliberations and so many things have come. But ultimately, that has to be, you know, one of these suggestions have come, but it should be, you know, action has to be worked out. Maybe actions may be with the researchers, or maybe with the policy makers, or with the FEOs, or with the farmers alone. So, in that way, so we have a list of uh, the, you know, points which has emerged. Certainly, we take a note of uh, these, uh, the points which we are going to, you know, implement wherever it is possible. For instance, I would like to quote the part of the point linking an agreement between the producers and the processor. Yes, this is the one thing. Because wherever we go, especially in the mainland, sir, now it's very TV in Canada, they say, now it's very TV, but then I mean, you see that and the buy, but they buy. When the people who are buying it, they are buying at the rate of 120, 130, where the standard rupees goes. Why we should not get to the benefit out of this? This is a, some kind of question. So how to address this? Probably by linking the producers and the pro there should be a commitment before they produce and the processor can take with them now the you know, reasonable price to the producer. So probably this kind of things need to be you know uh, taken immediately. And another uh, two three points which they have mentioned about the uh, proper processing of the produce. Yes. This is also everywhere because, uh, in fact, we also submitted a proposal to the government of Karnataka wherever these crops are being grown, relaxed. So, there we should provide uh, some kind of processing plants and see that at the nominal plant, uh, the direct, we can think of processing the produce so that the farmers can fetch a good prices. So, accordingly, we from the University of Agriculture Science, out of Seven, uh, eight uh, KVKs. We are making four KVKs. We have established the processing of this millet, uh, you know, products, processing centers we have made, and we have also made the center of excellence of the, you know, millets. So that way, in the initial stage, we have done a lot of things. Probably this has to be scaled up in the future days. The, in the areas where exactly in the places the lot of the crops is being grown. And probably in the deliberations also, we got a lot of information that FUOs are the commodity goods, maybe involved in this kind of things, processing and train them, and so that their services should be available. And another thing for the marketing, there was one more point to several that is linking the groups, that is, FUOs are the commodity goods, totally to the market. So in that case, what should be the things which we need to be? That means we need to go for the digitalization of all the process, starting maybe from the pros, starting from the sowings, and also different stakeholders. Can we bring all these people in the digital system so that the each person can contact each other? You know, maybe the producer can contact the processor, processor can contact the marketing. So that way, if we establish a digital you know, era, and make a single platform, I think this will be easy for us. Because one of the kind of uh, incubating, he is placed in our institute and he is doing this kind of job. He is connecting the producers, growers, market people, and the people who are giving the logistics, in the sense, the transportations. With sitting at the one place, these people will be connected and the product will go from the place of production, the place where it has to be reached. So without much tension, so this kind of system may be adopted in this, uh, you know, millet. I think that will help the producers to get a better price, so that the area expansions may be much more than what we expect. So these are all the points which uh, really come. So I would like to thank the organizers, especially the uh, the PR and the Naga and uh, the PR Deepak. So many people, Prakash, I, I, I can't uh, name the people, so you have done a wonderful job. And then too, the place like this, everybody was thinking, you see, this kind of international press, uh, the program should help only at the Bangalore because of the logistics. I said, no, we have to have this only in the uh, India because this is the place, origin for this, our village.
especially the finger melon. And also, this is a lot of uh, sugar. So many advantages are there. So I got to tell. So now, you have proved it. You have proved it. So even the international level programs can be organized at Mandia, that to the locations away from the main city are mostly in the So you have proved it. And in the near future, I, I assure you, many of our workshops, seminars of national, international, you know, uh, level should be held here so that our students or faculty will get a lot of opportunity uh, to interact and also you know, exchange and uh, have a uh, collaboration. With this, thank you one and all. Once again, thank you all the committee members and the chairmen, school chairman members. I know how much efforts you have put in to make this program so successful. So with this, once again, all the best for the future programs. And uh, thank you once again for the opportunity which you have given to me to share my views on this desk. Thank you.